Singapore's latest six-month Treasury bill auction saw a cut-off yield of 3.1%. This is slightly lower than the previous auction's yield of 3.13%. While the decrease may seem small, it signals a shift in market dynamics. The auction, managed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, attracted 13.4 billion Singapore dollars in applications. However, this was for a total offering of 6.9 billion Singapore dollars. The decline in yield is a trend observed in recent times. This suggests a possible shift in investor sentiment and market conditions. Understanding the reasons behind this decline is crucial for investors. It helps to interpret the implications for their portfolios and investment strategies. T-bills are generally considered safe haven assets. This is because they are backed by the government. A decline in their yields typically indicates a few things. First, it may suggest that investors are anticipating lower interest rates in the future. Second, it could mean that investors are seeking less risky investments. This is often seen during times of economic uncertainty. For investors, falling T-bill yields can be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it means lower returns for those seeking fixed income. On the other hand, it can create opportunities in other asset classes. For example, lower interest rates can make borrowing cheaper, potentially boosting the stock market. The recent T-bill auction recorded a bid-to-cover ratio of 1.95. This is lower than the previous auction's ratio of 2.35. The bid-to-cover ratio indicates the level of demand for the securities. A lower ratio suggests weaker demand from investors. Several factors could be contributing to this decline in demand. One possibility is the expectation of rate cuts by the US Federal Reserve. When US interest rates fall, it can impact rates globally, including in Singapore. This can make US investments relatively more attractive. Another factor could be a perceived decrease in risk appetite among investors. In uncertain economic times, investors may prefer to hold cash or invest in assets perceived as less risky. The US Federal Reserve's monetary policy decisions have far-reaching implications. Their anticipated interest rate cuts are being closely watched by markets worldwide. The Fed's shift towards a more dovish stance has fueled expectations of lower interest rates globally traders are now predicting a 15% chance of a half-point rate cut at the Fed's upcoming meeting. This is down from 29% previously. This adjustment in expectations reflects the Fed's evolving response to economic conditions. The Fed's decisions on interest rates impact borrowing costs for businesses and consumers. This, in turn, influences economic activity and inflation. Section 5. Navigating the Investment Landscape Strategies for Uncertain Times The current market environment, characterised by declining T-bill yields and anticipated rate cuts, presents both challenges and opportunities for investors. Those heavily invested in fixed-income securities might see lower returns. However, the potential for growth in other asset classes, such as equities, could emerge. It is essential for investors to carefully consider their risk tolerance and investment goals. Diversifying portfolios across different asset classes can help mitigate risk. Additionally, staying informed about market trends and economic indicators is crucial for making informed investment decisions. Section 6. Diversification – A Key Strategy for Mitigating Risk 
Diversification is a fundamental principle of investing, especially during times of uncertainty. It involves spreading investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate and commodities. The goal is to reduce the impact of any single investment performing poorly on the overall portfolio. When one asset class is not performing well, others may be doing better. For example, if bond yields are falling, stock markets might be rising. By diversifying, investors can potentially smooth out their returns over the long term. They can also reduce the volatility of their portfolio. Section 7. Fixed Income in a Low-Yield Environment Exploring Alternatives In a low-yield environment, investors heavily reliant on fixed income might need to explore alternative investment options. These could include corporate bonds, high-yield bonds, or emerging market bonds. However, it's important to note that these alternatives come with higher risks. Corporate bonds issued by companies generally offer higher yields than government bonds. However, they also carry credit risk, meaning the issuer might default on their payments. High yield bonds, also known as junk bonds, offer even higher yields, but come with even greater credit risk. Emerging market bonds, issued by governments or corporations in developing countries, can offer higher yields but also carry currency risk and political risk. Section 8. The Singapore Dollar. Implications of Global Interest Rate Movements. Global interest rate movements can significantly impact the Singapore Dollar. When US interest rates fall, the Singapore Dollar tends to weaken against the US Dollar. This is because investors might move their funds from Singapore to the US in search of higher returns. The Monetary Authority of Singapore, or MAS, manages the Singapore dollar against a basket of currencies. This is done to ensure stability and competitiveness. MAS takes into account global economic conditions and interest rate differentials when managing the currency. Section 9. Beyond the Numbers Long-term economic outlook for Singapore While short-term market fluctuations can be influenced by various factors, it's important to consider the long-term economic outlook. Singapore has a strong track record of economic growth and stability. The country benefits from a business-friendly environment, a well-educated workforce and a strategic location. Singapore is a global hub for trade, finance and technology. The government is committed to investing in innovation and infrastructure to maintain the country's competitiveness. These factors contribute to a positive long-term economic outlook for Singapore. Section 10. Staying informed. The importance of market awareness. In today's rapidly changing financial landscape, staying informed is more important than ever. Investors need to keep abreast of market trends, economic indicators and geopolitical developments. This can be done by following reputable financial news sources, reading analyst reports and consulting with financial advisors. By staying informed, investors can make more informed decisions about their portfolios. They can also be better prepared to navigate market volatility and capitalize on emerging opportunities. Knowledge is power, and in the world of finance, it can be the key to achieving your financial goals. <laughs>